Radio. Thank you so much for having this time to join us. We are still in Nyanga, where we are very much honored and excited to have uh, the Zach Deputy Chairperson, Ambassador Kiwa, who is going to be speaking uh, with us on array of array of issues, which I know most Zimbabweans I have been watching closely and also need to also seek certain clarifications on ABC issues. Ambassador Kiwa, we do thank you, uh, Kawas. Thank you so much for uh, having and, uh, and, and gracing us with this opportunity. We do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Uh, it to, today is the last day we've been witnessing a very uh, important event where you have engaged various uh, stakeholders as far uh, as the election process is concerned. And, and, and thank you. How, how easy and how successful was this event? Um, well, thank you very much uh, for having me. I, I think it was a, a very successful um, uh, workshop or conference, uh, judging from the lively contributions that were made by uh, all the stakeholders who we invited. Uh, not only did they, <clears throat> were they lively and positive, but they, uh, their, their analysis were, were, were very clear as to what uh, was done correct and uh, what, what, what the areas for improvement were and uh, what the way forward should be. So there is a, it was, they, they were very clear on that one. And we are most uh, grateful and appreciative of that contribution. Uh, <clears throat> as to the areas are many, uh, and obviously what I'm sharing with you is only indicative uh, in, the, in the sense that uh, a detailed report will be produced in, in due course. Uh, and I would like to believe that even uh, what was presented by our, our rapporteurs today was only a summary. The detailed report will be worked on, and uh, I'm sure you, you, when it comes, you, you, you will have access to it because it's a public document. We are engaging all our stakeholders, so they will be able to share with it. Uh, but uh, my what comes to mind is that uh, one the area of uh, the legal framework, particularly as it relates to, to, to electoral reforms. Uh, there, there was clarity to say that uh, ZEC only implements the law as provided for by our constitution, the constitution of the Republic of Zimbabwe, as well as the Electoral Act. Uh, when it comes to electoral reforms, uh, ZEC only makes recommendations like any other, and these recommendations go through. Now, there was clarity by uh, lawyers present who made presentations that there would need to be a, a legal framework established by our legislator, uh, legislators to, for instance, for argument's sake, uh, create a standalone electoral court, right? Uh, electoral court whose uh, mandate is clear, whose uh, specificities of that I am not in a position to to, to, to elaborate because I'm no I'm not a lawyer and I don't want to to mis 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 uh, Issues relating to uh, uh, inclusivity. Right? And when we are talking about inclusivity, uh, we are, it's across the board. The elderly, the women, the people with the disabilities, uh, languages that we use. And I'm happy to report that uh, as one of the <coughs> things that we did well as a uh, ZEC was that, uh, for instance, like when we were preparing for the uh, 2023 harmonized elections, uh, our voter education uh, was able to translate 15 of uh, uh, 16 uh, official languages into their, you know, from English to the 15 uh, official languages, except for, Ko for Khoisan, which uh, uh, will be done in the, in the next. And then uh, there are issues of uh, how to deal with uh, you gentlemen, the, is it the online media and the, the new media. The, the, the online media and yeah. the new media is a, it's a, it's a whole new area. And uh, it was interesting to note that uh, it was observed that, yes, the present law 
uh, act, electoral act, uh, was statutory instrument of 2008, uh, was applicable. But uh, now it seems to be overtaken by 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 the new. And, uh, it's also interesting to know that by the new digital. Just, uh, um, uh, uh, subscribers to the digital platform they don't, they don't report to anyone and so forth and so on so there is need for some legislative intervention what form or shape it will take I, something that uh, obviously at my level I leave it to, 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 the, to, 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 the, to the experts if I can interject there um, if, if there were so many issues mm. in the media mm. Not the media in general, but also specific to journalists. Their behavior, the overflowing of issues, uh, misinformation, and so on. Do you have any strategy as a ZEC in which uh, uh, you can resolve this? Because the other suggestion was that ZEC needs to uh, engage the fraternity, particularly its representatives, on a on a on a regular basis, maybe every six months, maybe every quarterly, because you said uh, elections are a cycle. Do you have any intention to do that, to engage the media, the journalists, and resolve issues, the main issues that have been raised? That's the whole purpose of having this workshop. So to 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 to, to hear what our stakeholders think and to make recommendations. At this point in time, uh, because we make decisions as a collective, I cannot say this is uh, the frequency of uh, uh, our engagement with the, uh, with the members of, of our media. Uh, I, I cannot say that at this point in but time. But you find that feasible? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's something that we will need to interrogate. Yeah, a, a recommendation is a recommendation. It has to be interrogated further. So, yeah, it might sound uh, uh, very inviting and so forth, but when you actually then get down to look at the metrics of implementing that recommendation, you find that sometimes it's not uh, it's not feasible at all. Whereas, as an idea, as a recommendation, it's very attractive. So at this point in time, we are uh, bringing on board. Uh, uh, most of the recommendations that may be made, but we are obviously uh, uh, are going to have to interrogate because some of the, those recommendations don't concern uh, ZEC at all. It, it, it is uh, the preserve of other uh, governmental uh, institutions like the Zimbabwe Media Commission, the Gender Commission, the, uh, and so forth, and, 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 other, and the other ministries. So we will bring this to their attention to say, look, on 24th and 25th, we had our a review workshop on how we conducted the uh, 2023 harmonized elections. And out of this uh, uh, consultative processes, this is what came out. This is what we agreed we are going to build on. This is what uh, we, are, uh, we, we agreed uh, we did well. And this is how the stakeholders felt is the way forward recommendations. Uh, but this is not as if, uh, uh, if uh, uh, get it right. The adoption of those recommendations does not necessarily mean that they will be uh, implemented as is because of these other considerations that, that we have. We are not responsible for the uh, legislative calendar. It's up to the parliament, it's up to the, the, the political parties, it's up to government. To, uh, one of those issues that is going to in your, your, your commission and the legislative issue has been the issue of the diaspora vote, mm. whereby some are saying every Zimbabwean has the right to vote. And Zaki is not allowed every Zimbabwe, including diaspora, to vote. Yeah, I'm surprised you, you, you gentlemen, still uh, 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 talk about that because it was no, very clear. Just making it clear for our Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. The the, 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 the law is very clear. Uh, the electoral act is, the clearly states that for you, if you are a registered voter uh, in our in our system, in our electoral system, you have to vote at a specific, a designated polling station. Right, so you have to be at that polling station now. If you are registered uh, as a voter at Nyanga uh, uh, constituency and you have to, your polling station is thrown back in, how are you going to do it from, uh, from, 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 from you? In other words, all I'm trying to say is that no, 
this is one of those issues that you have to be taken back to parliament and how see how that can be accommodated. Uh, Ambassador, do you any Mozambicans who are voting here in Zimbabwe? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not aware of any Mozambicans who are voting here. No, 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 it doesn't necessarily make it true because it has appeared in this paper. I cannot I, confirm that which I don't know. My next question, Ambassador, is that this is a review process mm. which was done within the four walls of uh, one of the rooms of this hotel. Mm. Zimbabwe is very large. Mm. Is this the conclusion of the review process of the uh, 2023 elections? Because we have so many stakeholders outside those who were in the room. Are you going to extend the uh, review process to other stakeholders who might have wanted to be here but can't or have not been invited? Uh, we, 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 we invited as many people as we, 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 we could possibly do. Don't forget there are other logistical uh, constraints that come into preparation of this, of this nature. Right? Number one. Number two, the <laughs> The review report is 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 is, is, is uh, going to be a public document, and I'm sure uh, those that might have something to say to add to subject will have the opportunity. So it's not as if that that is the end. If some uh, bright ideas are, are still out there, they can use that opportunity to, to do that. So people are free to. Add of course, to that, um... they, they are free to comment. Yes, and if it makes sense and if it is feasible, if it's doable, we will, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, check it up. And there were questions. Not questions. Uh, there was the uh, affirmations and reaffirmations about elections in context. Mm -hmm. And uh, many, they were referenced to many countries in the context stand out for all the elections. Mm -hmm. and one of the contexts that was raised during this uh, session was the context about the war. Probably I want you to touch about the war. Then after touching on the comment on, on the context of war, can you also touch on the new context? Which is quite alive to Zimbabwe, which is the answer of my brother here. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too sure exactly what, uh, what your challenge is with regard to the issue of context, uh, uh, because it's, uh, it's, 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 it's clear that uh, the independence of this country came about through uh, an armed struggle waged by the sons and daughters of this. Of this of this country, and that cannot be uh, uh, that cannot be ignored. That cannot be pushed aside. And here, I'm not speaking as a Zek. I'm speaking as a Zimbabwean uh, citizen who is fully aware of what we went through to get to where we are here today. So that has to be to be brought on board. And uh, I, have, I have no qualms whatsoever with, with that. So and how get does ready. that really mix with the, with the elections and the election management? It looks like everyone was talking about that. We did not really understand no. what it meant about the, the liberal no, and that, the elections. No, I, 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 I think the way I understood it, and the, the, this is why I'm saying I'm, I'm not speaking as a, as a, as a, as a representative exactly as, as, as such. But my understanding is that people should be made conscious as to where we come from. And uh, uh, as to exactly what other context others might have been referring to, it's, uh, I, I cannot second guess them. But what I know is that, uh, uh, and believe is that, uh, our people should never ever lose the sight of the fact that uh, uh, this, uh, uh, the independence of this country, was brought uh, about through blood and sweat and tears. And on the introduction of the chair, it's just very clear that you are looking into what went right, what needs to be improved. Mm. Uh, don't you have clear areas of what went wrong that we should be also improving as far as the last election is concerned? No, not that I, I'm aware of. Uh, not that I'm aware of. The, one of the things, I don't know whether you can call it wrong because it's provided for in our... In, 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 in our... In our... In our, in our, in our uh, Legal system whereby uh, 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 aspiring candidates can contest, and they did contest. Yes, it caused us some delays in terms of affecting our roadmap uh, because the judiciary uh, runs its own institution. We, as as they cannot tell, could not tell at that time to say, please, we need to, to have our ballot papers, we design our ballot papers by such such a day, and so such a day. Can you do that? No, we have to rely on this. 
uh, uh, speed with which our uh, 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 our, our, our legal system addresses those issues. Okay. And this is why you will find that in one of the recommendations on, on the way forward, because the, 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 the litigation impacted negatively on our roadmap, uh, we are now recommending that please can one there be a dedicated uh, 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 electoral court which addresses issues of uh, relating to, to, to litigation, electoral uh, disputes, and, and the two uh, in that uh, uh, court maybe there should be timelines within which uh, 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 issues uh, uh, relating to, to, to the electoral process must be, must be addressed. So as a follow-up ambassador, Zek says there was nothing wrong with this election. I didn't say that. Uh -huh. I, I, what I, I'm not aware of anything wrong that I would say, uh, because like I'm saying, I deny the fact that for the, uh, the litigation that took place, right? I wouldn't say that that, 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 that was wrong. And the be, because... Be, was, because... Was, be, was, be, was, be, Basically, in Arara, yeah, most places in Arara, it was not a big problem. There was, there was no delivery of ballot papers. No, you, 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 you can't. You, talk about. you can't. But you see, the thing is that why, 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 why don't you get the issue and see it through? The litigation process affected the timelines, uh, the, uh, the the timing of us being able to design the ballot papers. Because there is no way we could have proceeded with the process of, of designing ballot papers without a clear a, 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 a court outcome. So our ballot, paper, our ballot design was informed by the litigation process. Right? So that, and there is no way we, we, we could alter the, 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 the dates and so on. So that affected. Now you design the ballot paper, you, 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 you have to cross check things and so forth. You have to work with the printers. The was printer. only for Arari? Because it seemed like, like Arari was the major affected uh, uh, no, constituency. Uh, no, no, did, no. Did the litigation only affect Arari? No, 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 no. The, the litigation affected everywhere because we had, we had to send ballot papers all, all, all over. Yeah, the question is, Arari was the worst affected. Uh, no, that, 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 was, that, that is your assessment. That is not my assessment. Okay, Ambassador, certainly. Right. There were things wrong, there were things right. And you don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> okay. But I mean, uh, it was safe, but it's safe in a diplomatic way. My next question is uh, the chairperson and the number of other contenders says this review process mm -hmm. marks the beginning of the preparation. Of the next of the 2028 election. Can you just make a quick comment on that? Yes, uh, and, and she should. Uh, of three questions for the next election. That is correct because, you know, uh, the whole uh, electoral process are not events, mm -hmm. they are a process, right? For instance, like right now, if, if I might go back to the issue of the, of the, of the, of the legislative legal framework, mm -hmm. it means now, following on the recommendations that, uh, that have been made here, and if uh, the, the the powers that be are agreeable to the, the recommendations to say let's change the law or adjust the law. It means there is a legislative process, uh, a, a law making process that will have to go through parliament, etc. Et All that is part of the journey, the road to 2028. So the process starts now. Thank you. My very last question. Mm -hmm. Complains about the media, so for media, how to make it to the Would you answer to some of the allegations of corruption? I am not aware of any 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 any, any corruption to, uh, to take place at the I don't, I don't. I look with all due respect to social media. Any, anybody can generate anything. And I am not. Right. Let's be clear. I am not going to 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 to, to respond to 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 a, to a person, a suggestion, a, or anything that is, has come out of a social media platform, which I don't even know its authenticity, etc. So let's not go there. I'm I'm not willing to go. There. If I may just jump to, to the issues of uh, uh, how we did the, the past election, some people uh, would wonder. Just maybe two questions for me. 
Uh, first and foremost, I, 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 I need to understand uh, how an incumbent and interested party like President Nangagwa extended to the one of the elections. Was that a legal case whereby he issued a special instrument to then extend the elections to cover the areas that were, uh, were affected? Was that legally right? Yeah, it, it was. It was legal. And in fact, as an interested party? Yeah. No, not as an interested party. It's us, Zach, who made that request because we realized that because of the challenges that we, 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 we had, we were not going to be able to to, to, to ensure that every Zimbabwean who was entitled to vote on the, on, the, on the 23rd of August was going to be able to do so. So we did. Uh, there is an um, appropriate uh, section of the, of, the, of the electoral act. We are not getting the section. Was it Zegwe? It was the president. No, the, it, it was the president, president at the request of Zegwe. Yeah, we was it supposed to be with the Minister of Justice at the request of Zegwe? Yeah, yeah, the, no, there are there, there, there are processes. There are processes. We 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 made this request. In fact, we we, we the, 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 I'm not I'm not I'm not a legal person, but there are processes whereby we, we make that legal request. Uh, it goes through the Attorney General's offices, and it, that involved me. They are the ones who have the language, who know how to to, to couch it, the whole thing, and so forth. And then uh, it ends up on the on the on the on the president. But the request came from us, and it is perfectly uh, to make sure that those people get an opportunity. Yes, yes, it's to make sure that every Zimbabwe gets an opportunity. Many people are asking about the presidential votes. Uh, I also asked the same question. I did not get a very satisfactory answer on that issue. Where can Zimbabweans get the presidential votes in terms of how the presidential candidates performed in what and constituents? Can you help us understand? No, but you see, but 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 I don't know. I don't know whether you, you do listen. Yeah. Honestly, with you, Julius. Please make it clear because yeah. I don't because at each polling station, three ballot papers are given to a voter. Correct. Right. Yeah. And at the end of the day, they there is counting. Yes. And the results of what the president has received, what the parliamentary candidate has received. Correct. And the local authority candidate or what authority has received are ah, placed in the. That's simple. No, no. That's what I'm asking. Where are those results? We want to look back into them. Uh, uh, no, I, where I, are they? I have not checked our website whether they are still there, but they, they, they should be. They've never been on the website. That's why we're looking for them. We want to see how each constituency in this ward performs. I'm saying where are these yeah, but, results? Because they are not accessible but, but, anyway. But, but, but legally, they, 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 they were published. That act of testing them. That's, that's so we only, the question is they were only published on polling stations, but Zimbabweans can't look back and also do maybe uh, parallel tallying yeah. or just looking back into the, uh, no, into the results. No, no, Why no, is no, it we can't no, access no. them? So that we know where the results, who, who performed how in these various ones. <laughs> how do we do that? You know it because the, the process is very clear. Yeah. Uh, from the uh, polling station uh, to the ward, what constituency, constituency to the national command center, Correct. and those that were announced, that's exactly that. And those agents uh, representing all the participating political parties were there. No, I, I hear you, and that's so, a very clear process. Yeah. And it, 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 it's much easier when it's in operation. Yes, I'm yes. saying right now, today, where can we look at those results so that we know, like any other country, it's easier to know how South African are present performed in wards and constituencies. How do we also look back and see how we performed in various wards? I'm saying there are no such results. Where can we get them and why are they not in the public? I, 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 I wouldn't agree with that they are not in the public. Otherwise, how did the public know that they... they are they, they in the public commission? Yes, they are, they, are, they are in where, the public. Where, where, where do we find yeah, them? You, the you, ch you check with our... Uh, with, with our uh, with, with, with our uh, okay. PRP. Thank you, Ambassador, but mm -hmm. I think for posterity it's important mm -hmm. that we are uh, in that. Anyone want to accept and uh, start? Mm -hmm. There are a lot of interest on the results. It's a public matter, but probably yeah, my very final. Uh, 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 you've already had your final. Uh, uh, we can't have the final of a final of a final of a final. Otherwise, this thing will not be good. And ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, I want to I want 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 no, we do Ambassador, think. hopefully uh, the Commission will be engaging its stakeholders more and more important. important. That, that is a given. We are all Zimbabwe. Correct. We have sought, as journalists, we have sought meetings. 
countless times with the commission. They are not advised. But, uh, uh, but talking, talking about you, have you ever come to me? The, the, the only person that we have managed to meet is yourself. The only person that we have managed but to meet. But then you cannot say, you cannot then and, say you and, failed and, to, to, and, to, to, to and, be received and, by the commission. Uh, come on. And, look. and it was after we have existed with all other uh, but, but you know I'm a, a spokesperson, but if you've seen me, what, what, what more would you want? What more would you want? You are at a, at, a, at a board level. The engagement probably can be at the secretariat level. No, that, 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 they, 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 that you might not have. Uh, no. We, we, we really might, uh, yes. Yeah, engagements they take, they take many, 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 many forms. Yeah. When, when, when you engage, engage you, I engage you as a, as a, as a media person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but others are engaged as specialists in, in gender issues. Others are engaged as specialists in uh, persons reconciliation and all sorts of things and, and so forth. They are so, you know, yeah, media engagement. Thank you for mm-hmm. engaging. Yeah. And uh, thank you.